Hello, my YouTube friends. Got kind of an interesting knife to show you here today. A recent pickup for me. Uh, this is an old uh, from 2006, one of the earlier years of Bark River knife. Um, just a brief history. Bark River started. Uh, Mike Stewart started Bark River out of his barn in 2001. And by about 2003 or so, they uh, had outgrown the barn and had to move to where they are now in Escanaba, Michigan. Um, but, uh, so if you hear anybody talk about a Bark River, call a Bark River knife a barn knife, that's what they're talking about. It was made in the first few years. This is not one of those. This was not a barn knife, but it was made in 2006. Still in the early years of Bark River. It's a very interesting piece. You can see right from the start, the box. Um different box there's there's that box here's the the modern box so that you know that alone tells you it's old then you got well first of all it comes with this nice leather sheath kind of an interesting design with only one belt loop um, but it works I mean nothing wrong with it and it holds the knife securely but here's the knife and you can see I don't even know if it'll show up see the tang stamp that's completely different than what they do today um, now they put Bark River up on up on here <clears throat> this knife is uh old and so old in bark river that it's made from 12c27 i don't even know when the last time they used that steel was but it's a, just a very interesting piece that's um basically it's a, a mike's take on an old french trade knife design that was very popular in the west and the western frontier and uh the native americans really like this design too they call it their scalper knife um you know, they use this for, a, for scalping. Uh, but it's a very interesting design. I thought it was really cool. And uh, being a Bark River fan, when I came across this, I just kind of had to have it. Um, I would love to get my hands on one of the old barn knives, but uh, probably never see one of those. Um, people don't let them go, usually. They're definitely a valued collector piece for anybody who's into Bark River knives. <clears throat> but there you go. It's... Uh, I don't even have the me measurements here. Hang on, I'm going to grab my tape measure. Oh, shit. Kind of. As Salty Redwood Corn would say, here with an ill-prepared <laughs> review for you. But we got, uh, that's about a, just shy of five, five and a half, uh, about five and three-eighths inch blade on it. Um, it's got Bocote wood scales, as I said, 12C27 blade. Um. That looks to be, hell, I don't know. It looks like a little over eighth inch stock. I'm not really sure though. I don't I haven't measured it, and it's very hard to find anything on this knife because it's it's. I mean, it's no longer made by Bark River, so trying to find any information on uh, on it on it is pretty hard to do. I'm guessing this is more or less a stick tang, just because it's fully enclosed in the handle and it's only that wide, so it's probably a stick tang going back to around here. Um, but 12C27 steel, uh, you know, Bark River, now their, their bottom line steel now is A2, you know, they don't make anything less than A2, but, uh, 12C27, I don't mind that steel whatsoever, Mora uses it, it's, uh, it's very easy to sharpen out in the field, just take off your belt, put it to a tree, and just drop the crap out of it, and you're right back to Whitland again, here, Whitland, um, I don't know what that is on the end here, got something on it. But there you go. I just thought I'd give a give you guys a a look at that. It was just a, an interesting interesting piece to me. Um, and like I say, being a Bark River fan, I have like 15 different Bark River knives. Well, actually, I guess now 16. Um, so being a Bark River fan, when I saw this old piece of their early history, um, I just had to grab it. So that's about all I got for you right now. Hopefully, a little bit later, I'll get to Fatwood Friday. Um, I got a few things going on here today. I'm not sure if I'll get around to it or not. If not, I'll be with you tomorrow for uh, Fatwood Saturday. <laughs> That's all I got for you today, folks. Until the next one, see you.